this video is all about how digital product selling works. So, para sa akin, unang-una, you have to make a choice. So, dalawa lang naman yung option eh. Whether you create your own digital products, like start from scratch, ikaw mismo yung magkakreate, or you purchase digital products na meron tinatawag na MRR, yung Master Resale Rights, or PLR, Private Label Rights. So, either you purchase digital products that you could resell right away and start earning from reselling those digital products. So, you have two options. You create your own, start from scratch and sell it. Or, you purchase digital products and then resell it as long as you have the MRR and PLR. Okay, and then yung second naman is that after mong makapili kung aling option doon, whether to create your own or to purchase digital products na may mga resell rights at magre-resell ka na lang, the second thing that you have to do is to choose what digital products you're going to sell. So kahit nakapili ka na doon sa option whether to start from scratch and create your own or just purchase a digital product and resell it, kailangan... Alam mo pa din kung anong digital product ang iyong ibebenta kasi maraming iba't ibang klaseng digital products. So, meron tayong online courses, may mga webinars na pwede mong ibenta online, may mga software programs, may mga apps, music, merong printables, planners, templates. So, ang dami, ang dami actually digital products na pagpipilian na pwede mong ibenta. So, second na kailangan mong gawin ay mamili ka. Alin ba doon yung mga digital products that you would want to sell online? Kasi ganun din naman eh, whether you start from scratch or bibili ka ng digital products, mamimili ka pa rin kung alin digital products nga talaga doon yung bibilhin mo or i-create mo, di ba? So, para sa akin yun yung pangalaw. Pang third is that you have to find a niche. So, once you've decided whether to create, your own digital products or to just purchase and resell digital products and then you've already chosen what kind of digital products you're going to sell online like say for example online course diba yun yung naisip mo that you're going to create or yun yung naisip mo na bibilhin mo at i-resell mo na lang you also have to find a niche kasi marami pa ring iba't ibang niches diyan yung mga online courses pwedeng about online marketing digital marketing how to be a VA or how to create a webinar or or how to sell your home in 30 days, mga ganyan. Ang daming mga online courses ngayon that you could offer and sell it online. So, mamimili ka ngayon kung anong niche yan, whether sa marketing, sa sales, or kahit anong industry. Pwede rin mag-create ka kasi ng online course about franchising, ba? About different business ideas or DIY, homemaking tips, mga ganon. So, you have to find a niche para alam mo kung alin yung target market na papasukin mo. Kasi, Dun sa pang-apat, that's where you will have to find where to promote your digital product. So, pag alam mo na kung saan yung niche, then you would know kung saan tumatamba yung mga target market nitong nasa niche na to. Adon mo ngayon ipopromote yung mga digital products na gusto mong ibenta dito sa target market na to. So, that's the fourth step that you have to make where to sell your digital product. Kasi marami talagang online platforms ngayon where you can sell your products pwede sa Etsy, pwede sa Marketplace, pwede sa sarili mong website, and then sa mga iba't ibang social media platforms, ba? So, pwede sa Facebook, sa TikTok, sa Instagram. But the question is, yung niche na pinili mo at yung target market na nakapaloob dun sa niche na yun, saan ba tumatambay yung mga yun? So, kung saan sila tumatambay, then dun ka ngayon magpo-promote ng iyong digital products para maibenta mo sa right target market. And then, the fifth one is how to promote or sell your digital products online. So, ngayon, pag alam mo na kung saan mo ipopromote yung digital products mo where you can sell it to the right target market in the niche that you have chosen, then you will have to create your strategy, your online marketing strategy, how you're going to promote it. Kung alam mo yung target market mo, alam mo kung saan sila nakatambay. Let's say, for example, sa TikTok, nakatambay itong mga target market na to. So, ano ba yung mga content na kailangan mong i-create 
para ma-promote mo at maibenta mo sa kanila yung digital products. Kasi syempre, iba't iba ng content sa TikTok, ba? Diba? So, depende na lang talaga sa kung sino yung target market mo at kung ano yung niche na yon at kung ano yung mga content na kailangan mong i-create para ma-hit mo yung kanilang emotional and even their logical button in purchasing your digital products. Okay, so once you are able to create your content marketing, yung how to sell your digital products online, syempre meron din tayong tinatawag na inbound marketing. The way how you're going to attract them and also the outbound marketing like how you're going to reach out or engage to your target market so that you could sell your digital products. Okay? And of course, syempre hindi mawawala do sa dinidiscuss natin dito na how digital product selling works like the question how much can you earn in selling digital products so based on the two options that I have given you kanina whether creating your own digital products or just purchasing a digital products that you can resell so depende po yan if you're creating your own digital products it will depend kung ano ba yung value na nakikita mo that is worth it para presyohan mo yung digital products na yun. And depende rin kung anong klaseng digital product ang ibinibenta mo. Like if it's an online course, if it's a webinar or an ebook or printables. So depende po talaga sa magiging pricing niyan. You could do a research dun sa mga competitors or sa mga nagbibenta na nung online course na parehong niche at kung saan nila binibenta yon para magkaroon ka ng gauge kung magkano talaga yung pwede mong i-price doon. And also, it depends on you. Kung magkano ba yung nakikita mong value or yung worth nun. Kasi baka pwede yung iba, binibenta nila for a lower price. Pero ikaw mismo na nag-create nung online course na yun or nung digital product na yun, you see it's so valuable that you could price it according to how you see the value it's going to give to your customers kapag pinurchase na nila yung digital product mo. And also, yung sa mga magpo-purchase naman ng mga digital products and they will just resell it. So, depende pa rin talaga yan sa kung magkano mo nabili yung digital products and kung ano ba yung rules na sinet ng nag-create ng digital products na yun, yung owner ng digital products na yun. Kasi pwede, pwede mo siyang ibenta ng much higher than the price but not lower than the price na binibenta niya yung digital product na yun online. So, it really depends. Ikaw talaga ang magde-decide kung ikaw yung nag-create ng digital product. Now, kung nag-purchase ka ng digital product at i-resell mo, then you have to go by the rules nung nag-create ng digital products na yun kung hanggang saan lang yung pwede mong i-price doon sa digital products na yun. Now, kung papipiliin ka kung alin doon, whether to create your own digital product or to just purchase a digital product and resell it, you can actually do both. Kasi, like say for example, if you don't have time right now at kailangan mo ng extra income, then you could purchase a digital product na may master resale rights and resell it right away para kumita ka na, maging side hustle mo siya. And then you can try to learn the skills in creating your own digital products para sa susunod, hindi ka nalang magre-resell ng mga products but you can start creating your own digital products and then sell it on your own. So it really depends on us whether we have the time to create our own digital products or we don't have the time yet to create our own digital product. So for me, that's how digital product selling works. And I hope that it gave you an idea how digital product selling works and it gave you an idea of how you can actually take advantage of this online income opportunity, especially to sa mga naghahanap ng side hustle or ng extra income na mapagkakakitaan nila in addition to what they're doing right now or maybe a transition dun sa current na ginagawa na nila. Okay, so thank you for watching. Bye!